right, so here she is. So today I'm going to give you the basic walkthrough on installing heated seats um, yourself. Um, I uh, made a couple posts, uh, a lot of people showed interest, so I decided to do a full write up. Uh, I'm going to do my best with video. I'm not a professional cameraman, so in one hand and holding a phone doesn't always work the best when taking the truck apart. So I'm going to have some detailed videos on uh, removing the seats, disassembling, and installing your pads, um, as well as a video on pulling the uh, cluster, or the center console area part, I'm sorry, um, getting the center console area part and routing the power wires um, for actual connectors, stuff like that. I took a lot more detailed pictures of that install. Um, so we'll see how it goes. All right, let's start the seat removal. And we're gonna start with the passenger seat um, because it's the one that, uh, this is pretty much your only difference between this and your driver's side. So first, need your 14 millimeter socket. And we'll start with the front two bolts. Pop those out. Slide the seat forward. Go to the rear. Covers here. Pull them off. Pull them off. And again, two more 14. Zip those out of the way. Pull them out of the way. We can shut the passenger door. Come back to the front. Slide the seat back. Make sure it locks. Otherwise, it'll start to get crooked. And simply tilt the seat back. Now, now for the connectors. Um, so we're gonna start, you have three connectors right here. We're gonna start with the white one. Down there, pull it out. Gray connector, tab there, pull it up. Now on the yellow connector, it may require two hands. So you wanna push down on this white tab here, and at the same time, pull back on the yellow con yellow connector, and it'll come out. And you have one harness clip right here. I have actually broken mine. So just be very careful when you pull that out, but it still connects. Um, as you can see, ignore the mess. This is the harness for the seat heaters. Have it ran through there underneath the center console. You want to run it out about a foot and a half, two foot. Then I'll give you enough room to get to the connectors for the seat heaters in the rear and not stress any wires when the seat's all the way back. Now, after you pull the seat out, put it wherever you want to work with it. I prefer the tailgate because it's tall enough and easy access. So now, on the passenger seat, the one difference that I really wanted to show was your back adjustment lever. Now, you can see right in here it's a little silver piece now there is a tab in here you use a small screwdriver or pick and you can see where you want to pull up on this tab and then pull pull it off now now we'll take the seat pull it around just like this then you're come over here these are going to be connected uh, you'll have two of them simply loosen them flip this out of your way now you're going to need to undo this harness on the for the airbag to the seat now on the driver's side there is one more connector right here you'll just unplug it and the seat will have two connectors that's for the power seats. So if we're undoing the uh, airbag harness, small flat blade or pick if you have a flat one, you're going to go on the back side here and you just want to go just on the inside, right there where the screwdriver tip is, along that back and you can see it move, pull it out of the way. Now for this one, 
You're gonna use the same method and you'll see the two tabs on each side. Each tab needs pushed in. And then it comes free. Then grab a little trim remover tool. Remove this clip and this one. Harness out of your way, flip it out of the way. So now we'll get to undoing the screws. So you have a screw here, you need to take it out. You have a Phillips head here as well. And then on this long trim, you also have a Phillips head way back right here. So you'll undo all three of those. I'll catch you in the next step. And then over here on this side, you'll also need to undo this Phillips head and then this Phillips head. Go ahead and get those out. Now this is the part you're not gonna wanna like, is these can be very particular. Once you get all the screws out, it's a lot of prying. You're gonna get your hand up here, pry forward, and it'll come out. Let's snag to the other side real quick. Over here, you're gonna grab down here at the bottom first. You'll hear a clip. There's a clip right here that's gonna disengage. And then about the same time, You'll use the forward. Promotion. And disengage and set it out of the way. Now, you get those out of the way because you need to get to these 10 millimeter bolts to undo the seat back. All right, now that the seat halves are separated, we'll undo the clips for the cover. Um, I went ahead and did this because you need two hands for the most part. You have four clips here. Simply just pop them off each one and then fold this back. And you come over here to the side and you also have three tabs. One, two, and three there. And you'll come to the front. Now be careful, this is a seat frame. This metal can be sharp. Now this piece, see like this, is actually folded around. It can be kind of a pain in the ass to get off, but just pull in the bottom or use a screwdriver to help you out. Pull it off, undo it, fold it off. Over here on this side, also three tabs. Undo and lift them off. And back here, this little piece, it's wrapped around there, just pulled off. You can ignore this connector because it'll stay with the seat. Um, it'll stay with the seat belt. Then you can lift up. Sorry about that. Simply from there, you'll just lift up on the seat frame and then you can just set it down here on the ground. Take the seat cover, flip it over. And then just kind of fold it all the way around. Around the edges. Now from here, see mine's already installed. I really gonna do it again. But here is the hog ring part. So along each one of these, each one of your seams here, seam here, seam here, here, and here, there is a metal bar with hog rings. Now, uh, the sides have three hog rings here, here, and here on each side. And for the middle set, you have two hog rings. One here, here, and then on this bar as well, here and here. Now, as you fold the seat, um, start with the sides so you can get more movement. You just fold the seat up and you can actually see where the hog rings are. You'll get you a pair of dikes and snip the hog rings. And once you snip the hog rings, you can move the bar around and they'll come out. And you'll undo all those hog rings. Okay, so for the basics, once you get all the hog rings moved, uh, not taking mine all the way back apart, um, cause it's the same for all of them. So you sit, you'll place your pad down, kind of where how you feel fit. Mine ends just right about here and you'll just run the wire all the way back through. Now, when you're setting the pad down, you now remember you had hog rings go through here. So what you do, what I did, is lay it out where placement feels best for you. 
tuck the heater pad down into the groove. So you're gonna take up all the slack and just use a Sharpie or whatever and just kind of mark a general area. And then you will cut out that area so then the hog room will go through. So once you're going back together and all this, I'll show you basics on your hog ring reassembly. So your hog ring. And your hog ring plier. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is first you'll hook just the bar and then you're going to want to work down into the groove and you'll see this the string in there that you had to cut the hog ring off um, you're going to hook the hog ring around that and try to avoid hooking the heater pad as you do it and then just crimp down the hog ring and it's on once you have all the hog rings back on and everything just take your seat and just fold it back over the way it up, over the cushions. Then you can actually set this back onto the bottom seat frame, and we'll get to taking doing the back seat pad. Now, when you're putting the pad back on, uh, set the pad feet, just set the frame back on it, how you took it off, and reconnect everything. But I would start with this piece, you can fold it over and get it to clip on and all your other pieces follow suit you'll go around this clip it down clip it down clip it down same on the other side clip it down clip it down and guess what clip it down for the back just make sure you have your new harness through. Fold this over. One clip. Two. Three. And four. Now for the seat back. Um, first, start right here. You'll have these clipped in together. You need to unclip both of them and pull them back. Uh, and you can go ahead and pull the harness through so it's just out of your way a little bit more. And here is where you will route the new one. Now on each side of these, we'll have a zipper. It'll be tucked up under here. And pull it out and unzip all the way up same on the other side all the way up um, one thing you fold this back now go over here on your seatbelt outer side this is where your airbag is now I don't take the cover all the way off for just the seat seat pads but if you are taking the cover all the way off and putting new covers on the same time you need to undo both of these and then also take out the headrest studs. But to undo this white one, and lift up under here, you'll see this tab right here. Push up on it, or use your little flat blade, and simply undo the connectors. That way you can give the seat a little more play. And you don't have any of that on the other side because this is where your airbag is. And then we'll just fold, turn the seat over real quick. Now from here, just lift up on the pull a little bit over the sides here, and you'll have a Velcro strap all the way up the side. Up the outside seam on both of these. Right here is the one we just undid. Pull it through to give you a little more flexibility. And this will pull you up to the hog rings. 
this uh, seat back only has one bar that goes across that you'll need to worry about. Uh, this is as far as I pull the seat up since I was just doing the pads. Now I have two hog rings, one right here, one right here. You'll unclip those and then you can fold the seat back a little bit more. You'll set the pad down just as you did on the other side and do the same method. Tuck the pad down into the groove, mark it how you please, and take some scissors, whatever, and cut just a square hole so you can fit the hog ring in the bar through and reattach the hog rings the same way and your pads down and your harness make sure it comes down the way through the bottom now once you're done with all that get it back on simply do the same on putting the seat back together just the way you take it apart but make sure to feed these back through and connect them on the on the back side like we had done earlier now for the seat back simply when once you get everything reconnected you'll just re-zip everything just the way you took it apart and be sure to remember to tuck the zipper back up under here where it was prior to the install that stays out of your way and all that good stuff now we're ready to put the two halves back together and put it back now, in the truck. When you're putting the halves back together, um, best set the bottom side down and then get one of your 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts ready for each side. Set them off to the side. I just took two hands, so I had to skip it for you guys. Um, set the seat back, rest on here, using your shoulder, just kind of rest, lift it up, and go ahead and get one bolt start on each side. So it's actually secure. And then from there, you can get the other two bolts in on each side and tighten them down and go ahead and reinstall the covers for both sides and all the bolt and all the the five screws and we'll be ready to put it in the truck now as you're putting the covers back on and you start to go to connect this piece leave this piece undone um, that way you can get easier access to the seat pad connectors you just kind of leave them both right here and we'll hook those up when we set it in and reconnect this piece. Now, once we're back in, um, you will plug in your seat harness. Um, the harness has the two connectors. It doesn't matter which order you plug them into. Um, just make sure they're tight and connected. And you can route them how you see fit. Um, I just have mine in there in general. And then you can lift up on that piece, reconnect that. Uh, just grab your floor harness, just connect it back up. Connect all three connectors, and it's important you hear them all click, especially the uh, SRS harness connector. And then uh, set the seat back down in its position, bolt it down, and put the rear covers on, and that is installed. All right, well, now we could talk driver's side. Um, I'm not going to pull it out and go all the way through it. Um, the seat disassembly, um, hog rings, locations like that, they are all the exact same as the passenger seat. Um, this side actually does have one less screw. Um, the exception, um, if you're worried about these connectors right here, um, when I do the seat, um, there's enough room once you pop it off that this with the harness just kind of sets off to the side. You just got to be a little more careful with it. Um, you'll have your screw there, um, two screws back here and two screws on the other side as well. And that one other connector I uh, mentioned that's on the actual seat itself. Um, you'll do the driver's side the exact same way. Uh, pulling it out, taking the seat apart, splitting the halves, pulling the covers back, and putting in the pads. And then once you're all done, you have heated seats in your vehicle for uh, $65, $70, depending on which kit you got, and a few hours of work. Enjoy.